happy dogs Skiing birds and fashion blogs Start at nine, go down to one Oh, Mickey, you're having fun All right, here we go to the nine at nine. Number nine, let's talk about armpit hair. Oh, boy. Everyone's got it, so what's the big oh. deal? Emma Corrin of The Crown is featured on the August cover of Vogue, proudly shown off her hairy pits. Julia Roberts has done it, Miley Cyrus, Janelle Monet, and Lourdes Leon, just to name a few. It's no longer a taboo thing. Retail analysts at Mintel say hair removal was already on the slug sluggish trajectory before the pandemic. And now people are even more relaxed when it comes to shaving. Uh, 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 some say it makes them uh, feel sexy, others just say it makes them feel more comfortable. You know what I say? <laughs> do whatever you want to do. You do you. Is that what yeah. you say in this instance? <laughs> yeah. Is that really what you say? That's well, not really what I'm saying, but <laughs> listen, if that's your choice, more your power choice, to do you. Your choice, do what you're going to do. You attract, you know, certain people you Let's want to attract. Let's just say, others, though, right? it's up to you. Every trend looks great on you when you're young yeah. and beautiful yeah. and 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, but Julia Doesn't Roberts matter. is not young. She's what? Uh, right. That looks she's like an older picture, though. You know, was it? Was it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, even still, her at 80. Yeah, exactly. You know? She's looking better yeah. than most people at 40. Yeah. Yeah. Not so fair. just kind of measure that out on your own. Uh, Larry, are you neutral on this? You've been straight. Oh, I'm not it. neutral at all. I don't think. No. Yeah. <laughs> a well, big you, no. You wax yourself head to toe. Well, right. not for guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bears. Yeah. Guys, we're just here to serve a function. As a matter of fact, Paul and I did the waxing <laughs> for yeah. him last yeah. time. Yeah. Right. Paul did the back. I yeah. did the front. If yeah. we could change this next time, yeah. that'd be appreciated. I think I got the better. I mean, you're like a dolphin, just head to toe. You're just a kid. He's like a swimmer. He's so hairless. You gotta see him. <laughs> it's fun work, Larry. We're proud of you. Thank you. It was an honor. Uh huh. We're back next Saturday yeah. afternoon. Clear the house uh, out. Don't skimp on the baby oil <laughs> next time. All right. Uh, number eight. I'm a homeowner now, so I've been keeping track of the Halloween outdoor decor oh, trends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, they were on another level this year. People were really going nuts with the Halloween. Home Depot's giant 12 foot skeleton is back. But there are lots of other options to choose from, like the 15-foot uh, towering phantom. Wow. He's menacing. He's terrifying. Yeah, he is. He's 400 bucks, which makes him oh. even more terrifying. Sheesh. That sounds like a lot of money, but believe us, he will sell out if he has not already. Huh. Hmm. All right, number seven, men's socks are expensive. But did you know there's a whole level of fancy socks that cost hundreds of dollars a pair. Check out high-end websites and you'll find socks from Celine, Versace, uh, that cost more than uh, $200. Who is paying for this kind of thing? Well, people who don't mind it and they're already paying a lot for shoes, so why not add luxury socks? Mm -hmm. Retail analysts say men who spend $600 to $1,000 for a pair of loafers will happily add a few hundred bucks for socks. The head buyer of Nordstrom says the combination is like a three-piece suit for your feet. Oh, yeah. I don't get it. I don't either. I don't get it. I never you as a fashion guy don't don't get it. Don't get it. Well, if you're wearing those suits with the baby gap length pants yeah. that show your ankles, right. you want to show off the fancy right. Right. fancy but socks, right? I can't believe you can find a fancy set for 50 or less. <laughs> huh. I personally, I know I'm a fashion king, but I'm kind of like you shouldn't be spending more than like Couple. Nine dollars. Wow, yeah. Yeah. that's a controversial take. It is controversial take for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. And I will say, you know, you can go to the, some of these, like the Goodwill and the Salvation Army. You can find some steals on socks and underwear there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, like you can buy. <laughs> I, I, I don't yeah. even know this Paul Conrad fashion blogger. Like, ah, you know, it's, there's a dirty side of me. Uh, uh, but you can buy like a dozen for like three dollars. Yeah, but uh, you have to be fair. You're used to going through a lot of socks because you have that sock puppet show that you do. Uh, so you're true. using a lot that's of true. them. That's true. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> All right, number six. We talked about Barbie core, but have you heard about Kennergy, as in Ken from Barbie? Yeah, no, I yeah. Get it. yeah, yeah. No, I understood. Uh, Ryan Gosling plays Ken in the upcoming Barbie movie. He's giving all sorts of Ken vibes. All these low resolution photos are where you're gonna scare up. <laughs> in a recent interview, he called his Kennergy palpable. He says, once the movie comes out, Kens of the world will finally feel seen. He says, nobody ever plays with the Kens. Ken's got no money, no job, no car, no house, so he really has the has to bring the appeal, the swagger, something to give him purpose in Barbie's life. 
That's what Kennergy is all about. It's pure appeal, being worthy of Barbie. Huh. I do hope it brings back the old denim vest with no shirt underneath look. I've been wearing yeah. that around the house yeah. for months and just yeah. hoping it'll Ready catch to break on. It out. Yeah. Your wife loves it, does oh, she? Oh, <laughs> does she ever. Let me tell you, a lot happening in that house when I throw on that vest. Yeah, good for you, Patrick. Uh, number five, the Crooked Forest in Poland is a true mystery. Oh. What is this? Well, I will tell you what it is. Trees were planted in the 1930s, but they grew with 90 degree sharp bends before turning straight up into the sky. They're all at least 50 feet tall, but the world's most talented tree scientists, they can't figure it out. No. Now the best explanation is that farmers manipulated them to grow that way, but the town they're in was abandoned during World War II and remained that way until the 70s. So who was doing it? That's a mystery. That's the question. Uh, they don't know, Robin. Wow. We like a good unanswered mystery around yeah. here. Yeah. Oh. Mm. All right. All right, number four. Here's a beer I'm putting on my list. Oyster Stout. We're using real oysters. Oh, gosh. Yeah, there's quite a few versions out there. The beer is said to be rich and creamy. Yeah. It's produced uh, when the oyster shells are added to the pre-fermented beer. Oh, God, Others are made with actual bad. oysters yeah. tossed right into the brew. One word right there, yum. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can't uh, get enough. I think we already did this story. They got number five in there again. Oh, yeah, they got it oh. twice. Oh. Yeah, I could tell you about that, the Crooked Forest yeah, again, we but I think already. we're just going to be just as confused as yeah. the last time. What right. number are we on now? Uh, uh, three. 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 Dolly Parton's husband is her best kept secret. His name is Carl Dean. They've been married for more than 50 years, but they're rarely, if ever, seen together, and they like it that way. He has no desire to be in show business. He's content letting her be in the spotlight. They never had kids together. They didn't want any. They are perfectly content just to have each other. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I'll tell you, if I was married to Dolly Parton, I'd be content to sit around and not do much yeah, either. Yeah, too. You know what I mean? Like the dream. That's like a pretty good life. Yeah. yeah. All right, number two, Lisa Kudrow almost didn't make the cut for the role of Phoebe Buffay on Friends. She recently revealed that she had to do an extra audition before she got the role. Kudrow had to prove to NBC director Jim Burroughs that she was perfect for the part after he fired her from another NBC show, Frasier. Kudrow was initially hired to play Roz on that uh, show, but they felt like she wasn't right for the part. So when it came to time to choose the Friends cast, producers wanted to make sure they had the right person. Uh, all worked out well. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. All right, every, uh, number one, every once in a while we find something really strange and also fascinating, like the story of Katya and Maurice Kraft. They love two things, each other and volcanoes. Oh. And their story is captured in the new documentary, Fire of Love. Ooh. This is Katya, and this is Maurice. Tomorrow will be their last day. They will leave behind hundreds of hours of footage, thousands of photos, and a million questions. Alone, they could only dream of volcanoes. Together, they can reach them. They meet on a blind date at a cafe. From here on out, life will only be volcanoes, volcanoes, volcanoes. C'est très dur de volcanolo qui vivent ensemble parce que c'est très volcanique donc franchement ça fait des éruptions très souvent. <laughs> For Katya and Maurice, the unknown is not something to be feared. It is something to go toward. Oh boy. Moi j'aime bien qu'il par... qu marche devant moi. Je me dis s'il si va se tuer, je préfère être avec lui donc. Oh boy. Ryan and egg on a volcano. I'm guessing uh, we know how this one ends. 
Yeah, well, uh, it's kind of foreshadowing that in the yeah. like it. Well, yeah. coming up, we're talking to the filmmaker of this documentary who could probably answer that question. Yeah, right after the break, it's a pretty, and many more. Wow. pretty amazing story. So that's all coming up. But huh. that's number one in our nine at nine to tease what's coming up in the next. Nine nine at nine. Nine. It's my